Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Musical People in Journeys Rock Show. What is this episode all about? Well, um, let me quickly explain. Um, every month um, we do a uh, what we call a kind of festival rock show where me and my friends, we basically review um, around about 12 rock albums per month and we rate them um, out of five. Um, and um, and you know just for fun and just for you guys uh, to see what uh, what the latest and the greatest um, in the rock album world is. Um, however, so um, it's an hour long show. So what what um, what these shows are, what this uh, one off show is to take a single album review um, for you to listen to, um, which will be about maybe ten minutes, and for you to kind of so if you just want to hear you know um, the the latest Ghost album rather than listen to the whole show. Um, um, then you can have a sample of what we're all about and and hopefully if you enjoy um you can come back and uh, and, and watch the the whole show um from start to beginning with 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 the with all the albums kind of reviewed as well so i hope you enjoy it please um like and subscribe our show and to spread the message about uh, what we do um anyway i hope you enjoy this um single album review and the 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 um the actual show itself thank you very much uh, so I, I can't hear over the sheer noise that's coming here from uh, from the stadium because live here at the festival we have Jeff Beck and Johnny Depp. Yes, Johnny Depp ah! and their album 18. I don't need to tell everybody where Johnny Depp and Jeff Beck have come from. Surely not. Oh, God, people. Johnny Depp's on stage with Jeff Beck. Um, let's start with, um, but I'm going to start, <laughs> I'm going to start with Will on this one. Will, Jeff Beck and Johnny Depp. What did they do for you, Will? I mean, were you intrigued or were you <laughs> cringing? Firstly, watching your face was the most exciting thing that's happened to your day during that whole thing. <laughs> well, right, okay. It's like a show on itself. Um, I, yeah. It was an album. I think. It was. You're right. So, so they claim. I, I'm a bit mixed on it because again, it just feels like, oh look, I can do technical guitar stuff. I'm just going to do that and make myself seem really cool. My biggest problem with the album is this is a really weird specific thing. The, I think the second track, the death at the resurrection or something like that. If you made them sing it in German, right? And add some uh, distortion to the guitar, it would sound like the most generic Rammstein song. <laughs> and all I could think of throughout the whole time, I listen to it again because it is just, it's that sound that they do. Add some distortion, make them sing in German. And so the entire time I was trying to listen to it again, all I could think of was that one stupid fucking thing. It was, it was alright. It's they can play guitars, they can sing. Yeah. Was Jim, was Johnny Depp's yeah. voice better than you were expecting? Ah, uh, I wasn't really expecting anything. So yeah, were you, were you <laughs> hoping for some I don't have pirate? Any were you waiting because we know we know you love your pirates. So and I should have so, put the costume on, really, shouldn't I, for this? Yeah, um, I don't know where I've left it. <laughs> okay, so um, Simon, then I mean Jeff Beck. You you've heard of you must have heard of Jeff Beck and. He is a very famous guitarist. So, um, but what, what, what did this? What did this do for you, my friend? This this al this album it it felt like it was two high school boys who've been given access to the music room, and it happens to have like a little recording booth in it, and they thought they were really cool and record their own deep and meaningful album to express their teenage feelings. And she's awful. Absolutely hated it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, it's so self-indulgent and just so uh, utterly screams of neediness. I just, I did not like a single second of this album, and it really struggled to push myself through it. <laughs> just genuinely, genuinely thought it was absolutely awful. Trite. <laughs> wow, wow. Mm. I mean, the girls are giving you daggers right now, mate, out there. Uh, but there's one certain female that's probably cheering herself, you know, away for you right now. So, um, anyway, um, Ian? So, Jeff Beck, 
just to, to look at the Jeff Beck side of it, uh, I, I really like Jeff Beck. Uh, it's a typical Jeff Beck album. You're going to get weirdness. You don't know if you're going to like it. You don't know if you love it. And that, that kind of is the attraction of Jeff Beck for me. Uh, because you've got to, it's kind of like you've got to go through all the, the trite stuff to get to the really good stuff that he's well known for. Um, I thought clearly this is a delayed release uh, for obvious reasons, uh, having Johnny Depp on. And I, for me, Johnny Depp wasn't brought on because of his musical or his singing ability. He was brought on because he's a great actor. That voice I could listen to. I just listen and listen to. And you can totally see how that brings some, and that, that different edge that Jeff Beck likes to have. Uh, I just love Johnny Depp on this album. Um, I, I totally don't argue against the points that have been said before. But for me personally, I really like that. Uh, I thought, you know, he's got soulful voice. Death and Resurrection show <laughs> will totally, <laughs> totally. I didn't realise until you said that. I've just really? literally had a quick lesson back again. And I'm like, oh my God, it totally is. Uh, but I love, it's one of my favourite uh, musical composition styles where it starts and builds and gets the power and the energy and you get this big crescendo at the end. So uh, that's a great one. Uh, there's there's a cover version there of what's going on that definitely could have been left off you know I, I don't think it needed that it's got enough strength on its own and it wasn't a great cover anyway um, uh, but if you've had really it seems a really really tough day right you work at games place Nigel's been at you all day and you get home and think I need something relaxing back up to number 11 again let it be me I just thought as a piece of art rather than you know a, a, a really good song but it's a piece of art that is really relaxing chilling it's it's peace it's beautiful i really really liked this album uh not because it's musical composition or production or anything but just for the sound that you get something very different uh and it's one of jeff beck's good ones a hundred percent so uh um yeah that that's my view on it well, you're gonna you're getting a ticket to the party, aren't you, um, Nate? Um, Nate, put your booze your hat on. Oh, you have. Um, talk to me. Okay. Any first good? of all, when I, when I've had a tough day at work, I go and buy a Sabaton CD, drive to the biggest cliff I can find, and just throw <laughs> it. Um, <laughs> right. Here's the thing. I read this thing. Uh, it was an article about whether Johnny Depp's a good guitarist or not. And they had a really interesting take, and it was also, I'm, I'm pleased to see someone else uh, saying it. Um, the problem is, is who Johnny Depp stands next to. He stands next to uh, Joe Perry and, uh, you know, Jeff Beck and stuff. So people go, oh, he's not all that good. He's a perfectly serviceable blues guitarist, is Johnny Depp. He's, he's perfectly average, but he's standing next to virtuosos. Um, Jeff Beck is a virtuoso blues player. He, he, uh, his finger finger style. He, he ditched the plectrum in the eighties or whatever, and that and it gives him a really unique, uh, a really unique sound. He often messes around with the tuning pegs as well to get different sounds of bends. Um, he, he is a fantastically unique uh, guitarist in in a because if if especially in the blues genre, you're going to usually think. Clapton, Hendrix, um, Stevie Ray Vaughan, people like that. Um, so he set himself aside by the, the sound he can make just using his fingers instead of a plectrum. And I adore that about him. Um, I love this album because I like listening to Jeff Beck. I think the vocalist could have been anyone. Um, I don't know how much. I th again, I think Johnny Depp is perfectly serviceable as a guitar player. I don't know how much studio time they were given old Johnny because I, I, I'd imagine anyone could have laid down rhythm for that. And it's not as if they were, from what I've seen of the Hollywood vampires and, and Johnny Depp on stage, he's fairly good at plumbing out some blues chords and stuff like that. I've never seen him take a solo. He probably can do. The man's nearly 60 and he's been playing guitar all his life and started out as a musician. I doubt he's totally shit. Um, his voice is good is perfectly serviceable and 
I don't know, Ian, if you'd agree with this, it is entirely conceivable that this is the most eyeballs Jeff Beck will ever have on him. Even though he's been around forever and he is a virtuoso, he's, he is an acquired taste, even amongst musicians. Um, there's a video of him playing at Ronnie Scott's from about 10, 15 years ago, and it'll blow your fucking mind. It's amazing. Um, so I think getting Johnny Depp involved is potentially a really good, you know, <laughs> a really good idea at this stage in his career. Let's have all the eyeballs possibly on Jeff Beck, maybe get a bit of a payday, play some high, uh, you know, big, bigger venues and, and, and make a load of money. Not that I think Jeff Beck needs the money, but I think you know what I'm saying. If they let the guitar do most of the heavy lifting on this on this record, and that's exactly what you should do if you've got um, Jeff Beck in tow. I really liked it, and I thought I was going to hate it. I thought I was going to be able to do something funny on the podcast and rinse Johnny Depp and and all of that stuff. But what's the point? I I, I think it was uh, I think it was really really good. And oh, by the way, sad motherfucking parade is one of the weirdest. I love that. It's just so odd just so odd but brilliant yeah, they were you know they had to release this after all the court case stuff because in case johnny depp tried to try try and convince anyone that he was straight <laughs> you don't write that song if you're straight not a chance <laughs> <laughs> um yeah it's one of those albums for me that yeah i, I agree with you Nate. you, you 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 set yourself up to hate because it's like yeah go on yeah go on come on but and I hate Johnny Depp I don't really hate him I hate him the fucking so bloody multi talented you know and most of his films he's a great actor you know he could pull off action movies you know yeah, all right he comes up with the odd bum um, note sometimes he wins court cases and you know what he can he sing wins court cases. he wins court cases. <laughs> He could sing. I mean, what, what more can you say? What a multi-talented bastard he is. So, um, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, my problem with this album is is that um, there are two sides to it. You have the virtuoso, and some of the some of the guitar playing by Beck is outstanding, and then you have what is adequate singing it's oh, it was better than i thought it would be a lot better actually than i thought it would be and he held he held his own but for me he didn't hold his own to jeff beck really the singing and the guitar playing just just didn't quite it didn't quite mash on a lot of occasions there were some uh, there were some great moments by the way and where it did where maybe Jeff kind of pulled it down a little bit, um, and 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 therefore they kind of did commingle a bit better. Um, but that that was that was like I'm going oh my wow! Imagine if you had a wow singer on here with what what Beck is doing, and and I agree totally with you, Nate. I think Jeff Beck's gone. This is my moment, and I am gonna crack it. And wow, you know, if you were just listening to the guitar player, you would go, "That that was amazing." Um, but um, but it was slightly better than I thought it was. But I think the two things together made it. Oh, it just it just grated sometimes for me, and it just uh, it was a little bit annoying on occasions, and then sometimes it was just fantastic. So yeah got a middle of the road in the end for me but um, let's find out what you all kind of thought then so um yeah so on, on the point of johnny uh, johnny depp i thought it's naked I, I agree with you there totally but i think also artists are well known for rather than saying something with voice they say it through song and i think this was uh, it was a chosen choice yes there's a massive pr side to it of course there is but i don't think jeff Peck would have had johnny depp on just to have johnny depp on I think oh no 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 no! no, no, no. On that, well. on that, I reckon that Johnny Depp paid Beck a fortune to come and play guitar <laughs> with him. Let's be honest about him. You know, let's just some of the stories like, you know, Jeff, will you do that? Oh, look, Johnny, mate, I'm busy. How about a million pound? And yeah, all right, mate, I'm in. <laughs> you know, it's probably how that conversation went. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, mate, we can crack a few lines while you're there. Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> Sorted. <laughs> and let's face it I'm not saying anything that uh, was not no, no. revealed in that court case let's be honest about it so um, anyway right okay um, let's find our ratings then uh, Will oh uh, two yeah two why not Simon point five <laughs> whoa 
that's half a mark more than I thought you were going to give it, mate. So to be honest with you, but there we go. Yeah, they, they, they submitted some homework, so I give them a point. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Ian? Uh, I, as a standalone piece of work with these talent, I, I, I fine. Wow! I absolutely loved it. Wow! Uh, I was not expecting it, that. But what it is, I think, is just fantastic. Really enjoyed it. Wow! Wow! Can I uh, wow. can I lower mine now? <laughs> no, uh, God, bring mine down. Nathan. Yeah, three and a half. Ooh, big score for Nathan, and uh, two and a half from me. So, um, so you're all right, mate. You're all right, Will. It's not going Hall of Fame. All right, you're, you're fine. Uh, two and a half, seven and a half, um, eight, eleven, uh, thirteen and a half. Average. Really. Still too high. Uh, still too. <laughs> well. Outrageous. I just thought it was two because the Ramstone thing made me laugh, and that's all I could think of. <laughs> well, after I mean. <laughs> You know, all the screaming kids have now gone, um, and we are left on stage. Who can follow that? Who could possibly follow that? And, and so, who do we have next on stage at our wonderful Heat 2 festival? Is. Uh, 